let's take a look at question 6 from homework 17. What they're asking for is for us to find f of x. Okay, they're asking us to find a function and what they're giving us, they're telling us that f prime of x is equal to 9x squared minus 12x and that f of 2 equals 5. So they're giving us two pieces of information. They're telling us what the derivative of f of x is. They're also telling us what one of the values of f of x is. And that's really all that we need to be able to figure out exactly what f of x is. Okay, so in order to figure out what f of x is, the first step is to find the integral of this derivative here. Because remember, integrals are kind of doing derivatives backwards. We want to go from f prime of x back to f of x, so we're going to have to take an integral. So let's do the integral of 9x squared minus 12x dx, okay? And this is just using the rules of integration that you already know. So I am going to have 9 times x cubed over 3. I've raised the exponent by 1 and copied that exactly down into the denominator. Minus 12 times x squared over 2 plus c. All right, and we can simplify that a bit. So let's go ahead and do that because it's going to make our lives easier in the long run. So 9 divided by 3, that's going to give me 3x cubed minus 6x squared plus c. And so this is this is f of x. This is what we're looking for. The only problem is that we can't have this, this constant hanging around here. We don't know what that is. There was no way to go back and get that just by taking this integral. But what they're telling us is they've given us this additional piece of information here. That if you look at f of 2, it's going to equal 5. So let's just write this one out, set it equal to 5, and solve for c. And then we'll know what we need, okay? So I want f of 2, so that's going to be 3 times 2 cubed minus 6 times 2 squared plus c, and they're telling us that that equals 5, okay? And if we want to know what c is, so that we can give them the exact answer that they're looking for, we just need to solve for c. Let's take a look at that. This is 3 times 8, that's 24. This is 6 times 4, that's 24, plus c equals 5, okay? So that tells me that this goes away, that tells me that c equals 5, okay? In your particular numbers, this might not add up perfectly, you might not get a 0 here. Whatever you get here, subtract it from whatever's over there, and that's going to give you what c equals. So now we have it. This was the only piece that we were missing. So f of x, let me make sure you can see what we have here. f of x equals, well, we found the whole first part of it up here, 3x cubed minus 6x squared plus c, but now we know that c equals 5. And that gives us the answer that they're looking for. Okay, so I'm going to walk through those steps for you again really quickly. If you're dealing with an initial value problem, you take the derivative that they gave you and take the integral of that. So we took this integral, uh, 9 times x cubed over 3 uh, minus 12 times x cubed over 2 plus c, and we simplified it. But in order to give a complete accurate answer of what the original f of x is, what they're looking for, we had to figure out what c equals. Well, they told us that f of 2 equals 5, so let's just use f of 2. We have this as our f of x here, right? So f of 2 equals 5 and solve for c. Once I solved for c, I could just plug that number, this c, that equals 5. I could plug that right back into here, giving us the exact answer, 3x cubed minus 6x squared plus 5. And that is how you handle question number six, and really any of the initial value problems.